Hey there, it's Thaithia Garns, the Impact Coach. I am the founder of the She's About Business podcast. If you've never listened to it, please go and give it a try. You can listen to it anywhere that you listen to podcasts. I'm an author, a minister, a speaker, and a mental health practitioner. I never really introduced myself in my videos, so I figured I'd start since I'm feeling led to start this new series. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it Biblical Points to Ponder. I think I like that. This is going to be where I get you to ponder lessons from the Bible from the unique way that God shows them to me with the hope of impacting your life. I am the impact coach after all. <laughs> this message is for any of you out there who have ever suffered from loving other people more than you love yourself. Um, if this is you, you may sometimes wonder why with all the love you hold and all the love that you give out to other people, why your life has not gone the way that you would like. You've had so many challenges. And God showed me a scripture, Proverbs 4 and 23, in a totally different way. And I've read this scripture so many times, and you probably have as well, but he really shed new light on it just in an instant. Proverbs 4 and 23, the NLT version says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Now, what exactly is your heart? It's not just the muscle in your chest that keeps you alive. Your heart is your will, your attitude, your emotions, your intentions, all the things that lead you to think, act, and speak, and to truly be, to be you, to truly be who you are. Now, with that in mind, I want you to look at your life again. Think about if you have truly protected your heart above all else or if you have allowed other people to treat your heart as if it had little value. Are you treating your heart as if it has little value? And now I want you to take a look at your life again. Just think on that and get some clarity on the outcomes in your life. Wow. God is so good. I love you guys. Mwah.